Let's have a look at the um, by-election this weekend. Stephen, you're going to be part of our team coverage here. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. Both teams are, are now claiming to be underdog here. And uh, it's interesting language coming from the Prime Minister too, who's, who's talking about 7% swings, which if that were to happen, then that would hand it to the Liberal Party. I mean, is he, is he kind of setting himself up for a loss there or is he playing some word games? Look, I think uh, Labor was quietly confident over the last few weeks, particularly coming out of the uh, change in the tax cuts on stage three. I think Labor believed they'd broken the end of year cycle, which had been pretty depressing for Labor. They were back on the front foot. But if you look at any of the national polls, there were two big national polls out yesterday. There have been two uh, local Dunkley polls. And while I would absolutely caution uh, drawing too much from the Dunkley individual polls, because they're quite small, uh, with a very large margin of error. All of them show the same thing, that Peter Dutton is rolling forward. So if I was Peter Dutton, I'd have a pretty, you know, spring in my step right now. I think he's come from behind, he's heading to the finish line, he's possibly narrowly ahead or he's very competitive. Uh, if Peter Dutton was with this would be a huge result for him, especially coming mm. up with the disaster of Aston by election last year. Uh, yeah. I think well, is, is, the, would... is, the, is, the, is the fallout from The Voice still topical in front of mind? No, look, I think what all of the pundits have been down there and interviewed people coming out of the polling booth and, you know, box box people along the streets, yeah. cost of living is absolutely front of mind. Yeah. I think the tax cut change helped quarterize what was a, a bad outcome for the government in terms of voice. 56% uh, of people in Dunkley voted against the voice. Mm. Uh, and that was a very strong message uh, from the people of Dunkley. So I think there's tax cuts, voice mixing in together. I think there's a refugees have come to the fore with a couple of boats arriving. Yeah, uh, You've got advance, uh, a right-wing equivalent to get up, running a very, very aggressive MAGA Trump-style campaign on the streets. There's billboards, there's mobile billboards all over the place saying, you know, where are the pedophiles? How many pedophiles and uh, how many murderers and rapists have you let loose in Dunkley, Prime Minister, uh, with the High Court decision? And we've talked yeah. about that previously. So I think some uh, definite uh, swing coming to Peter Dutton. Whether he can get there, probably a little too early to call, but he's okay. certainly... Certainly coming from behind, and I, I think I can understand why Albo's positioning himself, saying, "Hey, you know, it's tough." You know, the swing against Labor government since 1983 by election has been seven percent, the magic yeah. number that Peter okay. Dutton needs. So sure. I think I think Labor would have been confident a few weeks ago. It will be getting nervous now.